Hunters, what up? What's happening? Worst effing gamer here, and I am back with a awesome spotlight video for you guys today. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you're hyped for this. This is gonna be awesome. I cannot wait. A long-awaited re release of Aquaman has just come out today, guys. And uh, before we begin this, I'm really excited about Aquaman. I've seen a little bit of um, footage about him before, so I can't wait to try him out uh, and get him real quick for you guys here. But First of all, I gotta get something off my chest real quick, guys. Why is this here? But seriously, guys, I really do want to talk about something real quick, and this is uh, concerning Lilith, my homegirl. Lilith, listen to me here. You know that I love you. I mean, I've told you things I haven't even told my wife. All those secret talks, late nights. Oh, I love you, baby. Oh, you love me back. All those meaningful talks. Come on! Why in the hell would you release a hero on Monday after the update on Thursday? Let me just tell you something really quickly about American culture, alright? Because you might not understand. Most normal Americans get paid on Thursday, right? We take that money and then it's pretty much gone by Friday or Saturday depending on how crazy you, you go. But chores, bills, partying clubs bars that money is gone by saturday and then you go and you release the hero on monday of all days how in the world do you expect everybody to have money to buy this hero come on lilith get it together i feel like this whole uh company is run by two monkeys fighting it out for a stinking banana get it together lilith you know i love you and to make profits as big as possible Release the hero on the day that the update gets dropped. Thursday, that would be awesome. Oh, new hero Aquaman coming out. Thursday, bam, he's here Thursday. Not Monday. What a terrible idea. But don't worry, guys. Unyam Shiptar, which means I have some money stashed away somewhere for a rainy day like today. And it's freaking raining like crazy outside today. So we've got the money for it. We're going to go right into this. Let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's begin this spotlight for the king of Atlantis. Aquaman officially licensed. Let's just do this thing real quick. So let me just go ahead and purchase this guy. All right, there we go. Aquaman classic skin and Aquaman times one, which means that's the full card. Here we go. Let's go ahead. Yes. Aquaman, the king of seven seas. Looking pretty dope, guys. Look at this. I'm loving this card right here. Swimming underwater with the fish. Legendary Aquaman is finally in the game. I really cannot, you know, wait to try this guy out and see what he's all about. But he's got that classic look. The classic Aquaman look, guys. You know, if you ever watched any other classics, this is what Aquaman looks like. Not the new Aquaman from, from the new Justice League. You know, black hair, tattoos, looking like Savager. No, Aquaman is blonde and sharp looking, alright? So this is what Aquaman is supposed to look like. So let's go ahead. Let's confirm that, guys. Let's head back now because... Oh, not there. We have to... What the... Come on! Alright, now we're gonna have to go for five stars here. So let's go ahead. Alright, so here we go. Aquaman, 250 more soul stones and uh, his avatar. We've got that now. So now let's head over because I'm, you know, just going and go ahead for seven stars right away. We're not wasting any time. And dinkity binkity, we got it. 750 more soul stones and the king of Atlantis frame. That is looking pretty awesome, guys. So let's go ahead. Let's jump right into the spotlight. All right, here we are. Now, let's first take a look. This is skin. Oh, what? Oh, you must release the skin, I'm pretty sure. Huh, so we got to go into our items. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. All right, so yes, yeah, so the skin is in here. You just got to use. And what's going to happen? What the? Fuck! <laughs> so the skin is actually, and I don't even know why this is uh, glitched out there. The name is glitched out, I think. But um, so the skin, the classic skin, is his original form, guys. And the only difference now is, yeah, this is his original form. The only difference is once you awaken him, then you can go back from his skin to his other skin, and it doesn't really make any difference at all. Honestly, with the card or with the stats or anything like that. So, first of all, I noticed real quick here, he's got two uh, badges. So, he's got the DC badge that all DC comic heroes have. And he's also got the Spear Club badge. Ooh, nice, nice. Spear Club. All allies who have Spear Club badge get physical attack bonus. Whoa! That I like right there. 
physical attack bonus. So does that mean that he is a physical attacking hero? Uh, we'll find that out in just a second, guys, once we go take a look at his abilities here. Because we won't know just yet, so first things first. You know what? Uh, actually, let's promote first. Whoa, look at that! That's awesome! Look at that shark there! Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> that's incredible! Alright, so that's five stars. Uh, promote them all the way up seven stars. That's gonna be first, then we're gonna fuse them to orange plus two. And then we're going to take a look at his abilities right after that. All right, so that's going to be the sequence right there. So let me try to quickly... What? No! All right, I'm going to try to quickly go through these as quick as possible. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So you don't even have to wait. All right, this is beautiful. Just keep hitting fusion and fuse. Fuse, fuse. Double fuse. Now we fuse to the end. What the deuce? Oh, he wasn't all the way up to level 100 yet. All right, perfect. Boom, level 100, orange plus two. Let's just give him everything else as well. Why not? We've got it. And that, and that. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 for sure. He's getting a lot of physical items here, so I'm definitely guessing he is a physical hero. Boom, maxed out. But what is this? Oh, oh, there is an ultimate. But why isn't it... Why isn't it lighting up? It's not lighting up for some reason. Because normally, this would light up. Let's take a look. So, two things, guys. Woohoo! He gets the awakening as well on day one. No, nope, where is he? Where is he? There he is. Oh, it is light. It's lit right now. It's lit! Um, so, first things first, guys. We're going to do the spotlight now. And then I'm going to do a separate video on his awakening, right? I really want to get the full uh, on his awakening. I don't want to get this video too long. Too many things happening all at once. This will only be the spotlight showcasing this guy on his own. And then we're going to take a look at his awakening in the next video. So, let's just go ahead and break down his abilities here. But before we do that, let's max this one all the way as much as possible. Um, well, we're going to go up to like 81 here. So, there it is. Up to 81 is first ability here, so let's take a look at what his Stormy Seas ultimate does. Aquaman summons a uh, tsunami that affects all enemy targets and causes damage over uh, several stages. Several stages. Hmm. The tsunami can cause an enemy to fall into the whirlpool. If any enemy falls into the whirlpool, their speed is reduced, they become dazed, and their attacks are interrupted. Excludes ultimate. Okay. Wow, that's pretty awesome. So, not only is he going to deal damage, right? But, there's also going to be a bunch of different other effects. So, if the enemy falls into this whirlpool, uh, it's, there's, it's going to get reduced speed. They can become dazed. And, the uh, second, third, fourth, and maybe ultimate abilities can all get interrupted with this ultimate. So, this one actually seems incredible, guys. I really, really love this ability here. Right off the bat, it's... Uh, arena hero right off the bat is screaming at me arena 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 with all these uh, CC's here So this is pretty dope right here. I love that ultimate now take a look at his second ability water blast Aquaman slams his trident into the ground causing jets of water to appear beneath the enemy feet Subsequently dealing damage to them. All right, so this is another Simple damage dealing ability here if it deals a lot of damage. It could be powerful if it doesn't deal a lot of damage it could be whack, so we'll see how this one plays out. Uh, third ability, Aquaman hurls his trident at the enemy, which impales them and allows him to control them. Whoa! Aquaman then dives toward the enemy and inflicts a blow on them, dealing damage to the enemy. Okay, so first of all, he's going to control them. Does that mean that they're turning against their own team, dealing damage to their own teammates? That would be nice. And then he's going to go there and, uh, I guess, attack them. So that seems pretty cool as well. Another damage dealing ability here. Atlantean protection. Aquaman uses the power of the ocean to permanently reduce the gradual damage uh, they receive over the course of a battle. Resist 38 point, wait, 38.7 damage per second. Okay, so this one is a little tricky uh, fourth ability here, but what this one is a saying guys is he's going to reduce the amount of damage per second that you really you receive so this actually only counts on some certain heroes only heroes that do damage per second i'm guessing right so 
if your opponent has heroes that are doing damage per second, then this ability is going to reduce that by a lot. 38.7 at this point, and depending on how much it goes up to level 40, it could be a good amount of percentage reduced, maybe close to 50%. Which would be really nice actually, that would be really really cool, so I'm pretty excited about that. There's a bunch of heroes that do damage, uh, dot damage, so this could be useful here. Now let's take a look at his Awakened ability. Aquaman is able to reduce some of the damage and uh, damage an ally will receive from an instant damage attack and transform that remaining instant damage into damage over time, raising his ally survival rate significantly. Alright, so now it makes a lot more sense because this Awakened ability is going to do a lot of things. So, first of all, he's going to reduce some damage that your ally is going to receive from an instant damage attack. And then it'll, he's going to turn it into a dot damage attack. So it's going to do damage over time, which thus will activate his fourth ability, thus reducing that dot damage by a certain percentage so these two are crazy good together right here once you awaken his ultimate this one becomes really really powerful this fourth ability now becomes a lot more powerful so i love this a lot more here guys and uh this guy is like i said before screaming out arena hero to me man oh my god arena hero for sure uh seems to be doing a lot of damage and a lot of protection too so damage protection great sounds like the perfect condom so let's take a look at what his ability is here. Frontline DPS Aquaman is a balanced fighter that packs a punch and protects his teammates. Ooh, that's exactly what we talked about before. Um, so let's take a look here. Physical, this, does this mean? I never really noticed if it was physical or magic damage here, but uh, it's kind of weird because he's got a high physical attack and a high magic attack but the magic is even higher what but these abilities here so physical armor let me take a look at his items because the items really physical attack physical attack so all of his items have to do with physical attack none of them have anything to do with magic i'm a little bit confused as to why causes damage over several stages the tsunami is this physical or magic damage i'm kind of a little bit confused here guys it doesn't really tell you what type of damage this is gonna be hmm we'll have to actually tr uh, try that out in a battle here so let's go ahead and let's get into a battle and see what aquaman can do all right guys so he's not enchanted oh look at the entrance that's pretty dope so he's not enchanted um obviously and i haven't worked on his hero village at all here so i just want to take a look oh aoe damage by that trident attack there's the trident attack right there wow actually i'm really liking this dude now ultimate time let's take a look at what his ultimate is gonna do oh my god um those are probably the best graphics in the game i've seen so far are you kidding me dude guys i think i found my new favorite hero i'm not gonna lie guys this dude seems to be my new favorite hero here i love these animations are you serious right now this is incredible um that tidal wave is ridiculous i really really love that so here's that trying to throw again boom come on take out shirley how is shirley doing this much damage all right so that's that second ability or third ability there where he throws the trident and then he also actually goes right after the trident to deal some more damage that one seems pretty good i really really love that that's the third ability there or second wow that is incredible here we go so let's go ahead let's try this ultimate out once again here because i really want to see this look at this wow boom 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 aoe damage to everybody and literally they're all dead the only one left is namtar that is pretty sick guys really really sick so his sequence of abilities are actually very simple to follow second ability uh with the trident and the third ability obviously with the trident again but then he can also throw the trident go after it and end up on your opponent's side of the field which is another great ability that he has though so not only does he do a lot of damage he's jumping on your opponent's side of the field we're just like there and doing a lot of damage so i'm really digging that i'm really loving that as well from him so so many good things to, to talk about here i mean i really do love everything about this guy wow and then don't forget his fourth ability is a passive ability so you're not going to be able to see it because um it's passive but it's reducing all dot damage by a certain percentage here so that is really sick way to go aquaman i am i'm really digging this guy 
from all the DC heroes, he is uh, definitely my favorite so far. I mean, oh, look at this ultimate here. Boom, boom. And those, look at those. Um, Firehawk and Dr. Zeno there got confused there for a second. That's because of his ability of his ultimate. And they end up in the whirlpool. Like I said, it does uh, can play a different number of effects here, but looks like the stage might be a little too powerful for these guys right now. Boom, boom, boom. Just armor reduction. Uh, and it slows them down and it confuses them. Just crazy stuff happening here. All right, let, let's fast forward this a little bit and see if he can pull this off by himself. Of course he can! And look at that celebration. There's literally a shark in front of him trying to tear him up. And he doesn't care. He's too powerful. 496 damage! Wow! Oh my god. Alright, that is awesome. Alright guys, so final thoughts on Aquaman. I don't think I have to even say final thoughts because you can already tell how much I'm drooling in the battle there. But I freaking love this guy, man. I really, really love this guy. Uh, his abilities are insane. Um, the second ability I really love more than I thought before because I think... Yeah, this is the one that he throws the trident into the ground, causing them to jet appear beneath him. The way... No. This is not the one. This is the one that he just does damage with it. This is the one, the Atlantean strike that he throws the trident at the enemy impulse and allows him to control them. And then he dives towards the enemy and inflicts a blow. So this one is the one that ends up in your opponent's side of the field. So the third one, I really, really love that about him. I, I think this guy is super awesome. I can't wait to awaken this guy and show you guys how incredible he is. So till then, I'm going to end it off here, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Drop a like if you did, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.